I mean, I've been, I feel amazing. The energy just shifted all around within. Mm -hmm. You're anchoring such a beautiful light afterwards. It's, this is just incredible. I'm blown away. The results of this just amazing. He, when when Source had merged with me, I was hot. And when he left me, oh, I'm cold again. I was thinking, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That put me eating on though, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, that healing heat is uh it's really cool when that happens. Um, but since mm -hmm. we've since we've been doing that, I've been getting like a lot of download activations in my crown. So that's interesting. And then of course the angel chakra is just really intense still. And um and then the do you do you have a whirling in your head a lot when you're doing events like this? A that will like, you can hear, like a frequency like a word. Yeah. Um, I don't hear it, but every now and then, like if I'm kind of sitting quiet and not, and there's like nothing else going on, all of a sudden I'll get those kind of like the, like the, ooh, like it'll sound like that. And it's always in my right ear. So, so whatever they're doing, <laughs> let's go with the flow and say, thanks team. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, the nice thing is, is since, uh, since you know the Scotland Ireland trip where I was having all these like really jerky kind of body movements that is tampered down so now it's just you know just a little bit happening in my left leg it's not all the time but then sometimes it'll switch from my left leg to my hips and um and I, I know it has to do with like anchoring in like all these codes so it's yeah it's it's interesting because you know it's such a physical experience <laughs> well it's definitely but, yeah. one heck of an experience yeah but let let the buzzing continue you know that's um a total transformation like this is like this is a bigger deal than than we give ourselves credit for like i actually asked and i'm like how come nobody's done this before like why are we supposed to do this mission and they just said nobody nobody became aware of him there nobody came aware that's where he was you had to break out of the matrix you had to break out of the dimensions to see him it's the only way you would have seen him and so like it, it's basically you've proven that humanity is ready for this and i was just like but when you broke out the matrix did you lose time because when i did it i lost six hours i don't even know to be honest with you because everything just mm -hmm. like Kind of, I guess. I can't. I mean, I can't remember. To be honest with you, it just I went into a total trance state, and I don't know where, how long. I'm not even sure what happened. Like I, I remember. Yeah. But, oh, and then I went into this whole other um, origins light. Like I just, I started seeing all the these planets. It just, I was every the celestials went right at way past Earth, and you know, and in this, like. Um, origin source um basically i ripped through all the dimensions of of this universal structure and then shot out the dome so i went through the dome and and then bam bam bam, bam and then i saw him just sitting there and i'm like what as I, i'm flying up right i'm like a skyrocket <laughs> flying up and then i see him I'm like what the heck but i keep going <laughs> Right, <laughs> so, and then I'm like, "What is he doing?" And then he's tuning into like that that uh, whatever you want to call it, the devil. And then so, and then I realize he's just projecting it all in his own mind. He's creating. He's in this dream state, creating all this um, density in an art. Yeah, yeah. Right. So he's dreaming well, it up somehow. Right. Like, oh my I just God. got hit with that heat energy, and it's like literally like my whole body. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I had to open my window. I'm like, oh my God, it's so hot right now. <laughs> yeah, I think um, we are in for it, guys. I think this is going to really trigger the biggest changes on the planet. Like, this is like, that's what I mean. Like, one of the last things to do, basically, is bring him back into the light. Heal his yeah. heart it couldn't be done this is what they said to me it cannot be done from the angelic level it had to be human it had to be done because he chose to come and create all of this and so it had to be done at the earth level to bring him back because then it shows that humanity was ready 
or the shift by it being done by the your us basically and everybody who's watching and so pretty amazed to, to actually break out the matrix it's normally three uh three uh portals you gotta go through but to actually go straight through it's quite difficult it's amazing you've done that i've done it once and i don't know how i did it huh. <laughs> Honestly, I was I was in the earth with all of these like diamond light angels, and then I did some kind of weird activation with them or something. I can't remember what it was, and all of a sudden, boom, I go flying up and I'm like, what's going on? Like I just like flew out of inner earth and then poof, I shoot out of the, the, the matrix, and then I see Lucifer sitting tuning into something, and I'm like, what's that? And I keep flying, and then and like I know I rip through the dimensions, and then all of a sudden I'm I'm in this like origin source light like be way like a i don't know how many universes over i don't even know it was just different it was a totally the galaxy far far away yeah <laughs> so, 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 then i started bringing that light in so i started making my my pillar of light into that because i just i had this now because i i went through that hole or whatever that portal it was yeah. um so it's like just i just know where it is now right so i just i draw in the source light from there now and just like that's kind of cool. How I did it, David, I was listening to a YouTube video and I was going through it and it said, connect with your crisscross, which is your tailbone. The next minute I was talking to alien beings saying, and they were saying, have you, have you broken the matrix? Have you got out? I don't know. But they, they were talking in my head. It was oh, I mean, weird. But then I, I managed to get back. And I lost my Sunday. My Sunday just went. That's so funny. Six hours lost. Isn't that wow. something? But when, when I came back, I was in the video on what I was listening to the YouTube. I'd actually gone into that, but I couldn't talk to them. Everyone was glowing white light, but they couldn't listen to me because I was like in 4D. And, oh, uh, uh, it was a crazy, that was a crazy one. And then someone said something, and I thought they were talking to me, and I went like that. And then I could see my pillar <laughs> back in the room. So I was talking to someone, moved there, I feel like, I'm back, I'm going for that. You know, I'm going to get back. <laughs> so, but all of, the crisscrosses and your tailbone, it's supposed to be a portal. It's like you're in a child part, the eight-year-old child. So Ray you start with the, the elemental. Uh, the, the Kundalini comes out, you mean? Yeah, at the bottom, of your, your, where your tailbone is. Yeah, that's where I feel a Kundalini. Yeah. 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 That would make sense. Yeah. yeah, and the uh, pelvic, I call it the pelvic floor, you know, kind of your sits bone, you know, from there, like all the way up your back. And usually when I feel kundalini energy, it's like moving like, like two snakes like this. And you can feel it kind of going up and going down, like right up and down your spine, all the way up to the base of your neck, you know, just really like right where your spine is. And um, yeah, sometimes, sometimes just part of it will be moving, like just depending on like what the work is that you're doing, but um, being able to connect into that, you know, that Kundalini fire and, you know, it's, it's interesting how it activates like the passion within you and, uh, and, and even using it to, to kind of like, like how, when you pulled in St. Germain to like bring in that violet flame, like a lot of times, like it'll be like, like stronger with one color versus the other because typically i feel like it's represented by like all colors kind of that that rainbow color but um it, on the video it was telling you to get your soul into your crisscross your tailbone but it was like a pinball so when the soul was on the point you just shot up you just shot oh, out, wow. out of the matrix that's <laughs> crazy oh, okay. Well, that's that's a new that's a new focus because usually what I end up doing is bringing that soul energy in and I just bring it right through the chakras and down kind of to the feet and then from the feet I bring it back up to the top of my head mm. to my crown and then I lock in through my root chakra with you know grounding and then I'll connect into source and kind of like meet in the middle it, it I don't know sometimes it varies but like that's what I've been doing lately um, but that's really interesting. Also, the fact that like you lose time, that happens to me a lot. I'll like, it'll be like 11 o'clock at night. Well, and I, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm like daydreaming or what. And then all of a sudden it'll be like, oh my God, it's like 1.30 in the morning. Like what, like where, where did my time go? Well, and then what, I, was what was amazing was 
the video was still playing. It was an hour long, but I'd lost six hours. I couldn't work Not it out. Six hours and the hour video still goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's on the next level. <laughs> well, you know what else? You know what else I'll be I think is funny? With the, uh, with the extraterrestrials for like probably they're doing some uh, probing research on you. <laughs> <laughs> you always <laughs> think that. Do you wake up with uh with like circles on your body where you've been uh, connected? <laughs> uh, I'm not even going there. <laughs> were they uh terrestrial? checking my DNA? <laughs> were they I probably got I probably got some alien beings now that are my son or daughter. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Have you seen them before or were they a completely new race? The race I saw, oh, yeah. the Matrix was completely new. It, it was like they had to, like, you know, like two, two heads. Well, no, like that. No. You know what I mean? Like, like a figure of eight. Like you can see yeah. one and you can see the other. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah anyway. I, did you say, okay, so, did you say as above, so below? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so what you're describing is kind of like when we were in Dublin in getting ready to catch our flight, I was having a conversation with Joan. And as I was talking to her, it's like I could see this being in front of her and they were both talking at the same time and her mouth was moving, but I could also see this being in front of her. Its mouth was moving at the same time. So I was like seeing like this holographic, it was clear. It didn't have any coloring or anything, but I could see the outline of it. I knew the shape of it was there. And, um, and then when she was, and I was just like, kind of like, leaning in like I was really interested but I was just trying to figure out like what the fuck's going on here like I don't know what I'm looking at in my brain like it's just spinning in circles and I'm just like I don't understand this and then and then later come to like like I get the sense that what I was really seeing was like her her uh her leprechaun aspect was like coming forward and like like showing itself because its face would have been like longer than her own face and so I was like I totally was like looking at your leprechaun aspect, talking through you at the same time I'm looking at you. So that was, that was very different because <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm wide awake, eyes open and I'm looking at this, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, you've seen a, a mage, a passion. Oh, yeah, that's, you, yeah. That's real good channeling there. That's for sure. The, the, uh, <laughs> the person who was merged with the Actorian, as he's going like that, the person who's not touching is going up and down like a fit. And what he was doing is he was uh, he was healing his uh, shadow, his addiction shadow, because the person that had plant food, you know, this mushrooms, and yeah. he, he he was he was actually releasing it, but he wasn't even touching it. He was doing that, and the person's like vibrating like fucking. This is insane. <laughs> but I yeah. like it. I loved it. I I get a sense that that's kind of the energy that I was experiencing over the last several months because there were times where normally I'd say you know you get those physical jerks of like your arm would jerk or your leg would jerk or you know sometimes when I'm telling now like my head and my whole body jerks around I'm like oh good lord here we go but um but there were times where and I couldn't stop it it just like was physically helped Hap happening to my body where it was like it's like an epile epileptic seizure like my whole body would be like uh, you know and I couldn't stop it and I was like I would be like oh my god and I think the worst of it was um when we first came back I think it was maybe we were here for maybe a week like a week after we had come back to the states and um it was like it was like it was like two hours of this like this whole like body, like being like having this like vibration signature and it would transition between like my legs and my hips. And then it would almost be like, if you can imagine kind of like tilting forward and doing like crunches, like, you know, sit up crunches, like and tightening all those stomach muscles, like that's how it was doing only it was all involuntary, but that's what was happening like physically to my body. And I was like, okay, like this is really very interesting, but Finally, I kind of like, I kind of like yelled at Source and I'm like, hey, Source, I'm done with this. <laughs> Can you make it stop? 
Because <laughs> I mean, literally, it was like all night long. It was about six in the morning. And I just, I just, I was like, I cannot be up another minute and I cannot have my body physically going. It's just, it's too much. It's too much, is, you know, is where I was at. And, um, yes, and then it's, true. yeah, never, never been that intense or that long since then. But um, really big I, I feel, yeah, and I feel like some people like may have described that sensation and the feeling and the vibration as like a Kundalini. But um, but I've also had Kundalini a couple times, um, you know, kind of one, the actual awakening. And then the second time was as I was, you know, working, working to like that next reach that next level of, of you know, high, higher vibration within my own soul self, my own awareness. And um, and then when that happened, I after that happened, I, then that's when I started feeling like the Kundalini physically moving in my back, in my spine. And um, sometimes you feel it like kind of shoot up your legs and then you feel the energy like moving in your spine. So that's anyway, that's how it presented for me. Other people may have it present otherwise, but that's, that was my experience with that. But yeah, that whole like the physical beat. And all I kept thinking is there's probably some Octurian standing over me and being like, okay, we're just gonna work on you a little bit here. All right, now we gotta. What's work the on maximum that. she can take? Let's right? like, what are, what's, <laughs> are you? You know, some guy's got a chart watching it, going, "Hey, are you keeping track of the numbers? Like, how high are we going with this?" <laughs> uh, hey guys, how do we turn down the switch? It's just stuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Where's the... Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel when something's going wrong that there's a TV program in Evan or wherever watching you? Getting <laughs> getting crap, <laughs> like a comedy one. I always think that. Well, we are like uh, galactic. <laughs> That's totally true. Yeah, yeah you so know that sitting out here watching us. Let, let's just break down his car and see how pissed off he gets. <laughs> yeah. Think that? Oh, and we'll call it a lesson. <laughs> yeah. to enhance your life let's see your <laughs> mastery <laughs> yeah that's all the all the angels having popcorn exactly. <laughs> oh you know what we never introduced wendy really uh but like we know wendy but there may be people who are watching that might not know wendy but uh, definitely uh not so long just maybe over a year year and a half ago we went on probably at least a dozen missions like a lot of our early yeah. years, maybe like starting back like four years ago five years ago and even the number of years yeah we're time ago it's like uh, just blinked away so yeah one of the last ones i remember that we all went on together we discovered the infinity portal that rainbow portal that connects to like and then we tethered ourselves to a star to explore it you remember that and yeah like, we didn't want to lost in it like consciously or whatever and uh i remember when we were we were riding in this big rainbow and uh no matter where you go it was like different timelines different histories different realities and it just goes on forever infinitely and i was i was like that's when uh that's when i began to start working with it in a different way but it was like the, the fact that we discovered it in the etheric realm is just amazing yeah, there's definitely been a lot of uh, interesting discoveries since then. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Between all these temples and crystal castles and light rays and it's, um, <laughs> you know, all, all these different beings that are out there. Um, not too long ago, I was having this astral travel dream where I was like going up this hill. And as I got to the top of the hill, the being I was talking to was kind of like in a robe, but also his face was like bronze. And I thought I was going up there to like read like this, like bronze post. Like I thought it was like a bronze signpost or something. So I went up there and I was looking at it and then I looked at this bean and he's just standing there. And then, and then he's got like a twin brother, like not too far from him. And this big like architecture or structure building behind him that I would say like kind of reminds me of like how museums are like that big, you know, that kind of a sense of it, just expansive, so expansive. And uh, and I was having a conversation with him. I can't tell you what I was talking about. But then later I was uh, I was working with another channeler and I'm like, all right, who are these guys? And it was Remus and Romulus. <laughs> and now, you know, now that they're in their ascended state, you know, they look completely different because I was confused. I was like, wait, they were on earth. So if they were on earth, you know, were they bronze faced while they were on earth? 
And, uh, and, you know, and it was like, no, no, they weren't, but that's what they like. That's who they've become now is they've like come into this state of being in their, in their current existence. <laughs> so I was like, huh? So yeah, I guess we, you know, a lot of us are going to look like in our light bodies and stuff. Like I've, I've seen the cycles and like where, where people go in this, basically this huge loop of souls that just look transparent and white life so review back jumped in next life and this is over and over but when the light workers or people who work on their light bodies and stuff when they come up the line of um souls crossing over they're all illuminated and they get the special access they don't even have to like go in the line <laughs> go to the next universe over there or whatever they've kind of connected with in their physicality and you can see the activations in their energy they're not translucent. They have different colors to them and things that they've activated and expanded. Wow. Into. It's pretty cool. Okay. I was saying, uh, last week, I was uh, healing uh, this woman and an uh, aspect that's partially merging with her is a light source being. And it's amazing, amazing energy. Absolutely. Ah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It's, um, I just wanted to say that. I, well, I, another thing I wanted to say was that I really enjoyed with you, me and Wendy and uh, uh, Joan and Susan, and Susan we had yeah. a meal. We, I remember them. We had oh, a yeah. meal in Scotland, and it was so down to earth. It was great. And then I had to secretly give you a lift back in the hotel, and we probably. Oh my god, that was, so, that was like one of my favorite <laughs> memories. We were just crammed <laughs> in the back of that car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You Joan, guys, you're the smallest died. You guys went to Scotland together? Yeah. Um, yeah. So so we went to Scotland and then I, I twisted uh <laughs> I twisted Phil's arm and I said, look, and if I'm traveling all this way, you better come meet me. <laughs> so but he and Sophie um beautifully took the drive out and um and then we all got together and spent the day together. And that's when we were at Rosalind Chapel and did yeah, our healing work there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then uh, we had the restaurant meal. It was great. Yeah, and the restaurant meal was amazing. We didn't want to leave. We had other places planned of like, oh, let's go here, let's go there. And we were like, no, we're just going to stay here. We were having too much fun enjoying each other's company. And the conversation was amazing. And yeah, but yeah, um, I, I, I was really while the winners got here in a boat, Ascended Masters, Light Beans, Dragon <laughs> Light Language, Raphael, Azriel, and oh, yeah, Hot Source. And the waiters just like, these people are crazy, but look how happy they are. They're really happy. <laughs> uh, D- David, I was healing Joan. Yeah. And Joan said, Your healing's like having sex. And I said to, I was looking at Sophie, just healing. <laughs> don't <laughs> <laughs> <I laughs> say that <laughs> it's the energy it's the vibe it's the bliss yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's good. That's that was that's, that's pretty sure that's what lucifer said when you merge with them too <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was interesting too on that trip we ended up like killing each other a lot because we were all getting triggered at different locations based on where we were traveling um, I mean, S- Scotland was amazing being, you know, up North when we had gone up to Inverness, like that was like really cool to be up there. I mean, we were all just like giggly running around the land, you know, connecting in with, you know, Loch Ness energy, even though she's already like passed and gone, like her spirit's still there, but, <laughs> but just, you know, the energy of the land. And, uh, that was, yeah, that was pretty incredible, but I do think, I do think when we were when we were all hanging together i mean we couldn't stop laughing like everything was just like so fun and even though we were like serious and like doing healing work it the other thing too that came into my mind afterwards phil and i don't know if you thought about this but while we were there they had and we had no idea about this but they had two sets of runners that were like doing a marathon or something and their start place was in Rosalind chapel so there were all these souls conveniently having a run and there were two different mass groups of them that had come through while we were all sitting there like doing healing work so did they did they come in for an energy amp up like was that their contract (laughs) (laughs) like oh hey guess what i know i know there's going to be a few angelic beings here and some healers so we're just we're having a run and we're thinking it's a beer run but really what's happening 
unbeknownst to us, but our soul knows what's happening. You know, I, I thought about that a lot. I was like, you know, that was really like, that really like kind of surprised me that because no clue that that those runs were happening and, you know, they went in there were two different groups, but yeah, there were, there were quite a few of them. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't say maybe, well, maybe between the two group hundreds, but, uh, but yeah, there was, <laughs> there's a large group there that normally would not be there. So, yeah. How long was the drive to get from uh, England to Scotland there? It's about three or four hours. But we we stayed in Scotland. We're not. I'm not like that. <laughs> stayed in hotel. That's not so bad. Huh. Yeah, not so bad. Did Bob said he, he, really from from he said he liked it. Is Ireland a possible driver, or is it just too far? It's uh, a Ireland's, across the lake. <laughs> I, Ireland's probably quicker, but you just got to go on the boat and. Make on a ferry, mm -hmm. a passport, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you can do you can do an England to Ireland uh, ferry ride. Yeah, you, you drive on the ferry, or do you? You must, right? Yeah, you you drive on the ferry. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, I once yeah. uh, I was selling a machine to Dublin, and the biggest wave I had to, I was on the biggest boat they had, and the biggest wave must have hit the boat at three a.m. while I was watching Gladiator, and the boat went that sideways at all the bottles in the back came down and I was thinking, oh, we don't oh. sink in the Invidi channel and we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, oh, it was a big wave. Oh, actually means side and it's their biggest one they had. Uh, wow. Oh, crazy. I managed to keep me Guinness in the hand though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was all that was important. <laughs> yeah, but did you, were you able to stop like the pants from getting wet? <laughs> <laughs> It was a bit worrying because it was the only one big way that it was all the others you couldn't tell, but that was a boat that size. All the small yeah. boats, it was the only boat that you could take over because of the waves were big. Wow. So when, when the bottles from the bar start falling over and smashing, you start thinking something wrong here. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's incredible. Um, I don't know if you remember the sigil that we had shown you, but we had. Um, Actually, I have a copy of it here. So it traveled with us to um, Scotland and Ireland, and and the sigil. So we you have a friend of ours yeah. who's doing um, who's doing some energy work in India right now. <laughs> and she's got copies. She's got copies. Do you want to show us that again? Oh yeah. Oh, did you want me to so, turn it upside down like how you were when you saw it? So you that's saw it the, the moon and the sun. That's the moon and the sun. That's Earth and that's in Earth. That's, I'm being told. I could be yeah. wrong. It is the moon and, and the, the sun. The two side things are fish, by the way. It, that's just like my Earth. Uh, that's just like that, isn't it? That's very similar to that. The sides. Yeah. Is that the that above there. the Earth there? Yeah. Yeah, so within the earth, there's sacred geometry and outside mm -hmm. of it, sacred geometry with the circle and the infinity symbol inside. And then within the infinity symbol was um, hearts of fire. And then on top of the hearts are two pyramids. So the pyramids are here above and below the heart, above and below the heart. Trying you, to remember you know, what else. Wendy, is that inner earth and out and top earth? The, the pyramids? Um, I got the usual. Mm -hmm. we we yeah there's pyramids it's like the 3d pyramid like i don't know if you can yeah get close enough but, where, it. Where, why yeah i can see it. why don't you have one of them made out of it have a break a finger three of them you know like that with a fish why don't you have one of these made out of that oh yeah huh maybe <laughs> But but anyway, right. our our sigil is being used for some healing work in India right now, and so it's currently traveling up into like some mountainous regions and the Himalayas, and I don't know all the zones exactly. I just know that you know our friend who's taking it up there is um, is you know doing a lot of work, and she's got some land work in that that she's doing, and then work with changing energies for you know how the animals are treated in India. And um, so, yeah, so 
that's all I know at this time. <laughs> so otherwise I'd, you know, I'd share more, but I do know that she's going to be going up into the Himalayas. So, um, so I'm super excited about that because I think it was either the end of last year or early this year, I had dreamt of the Himalayan mountains where they like come and they show me their picture and then they just kind of blink away. And it's like, you know, it's like seeing an image on a black background, you know, like a photo and then they blink away. But usually when that happens, it's kind of like, like earth energy saying, um, like raising their hand going, excuse me, um, can you like send me some energy? Cause like I need some healing work or, you know, or, you know, working with the elements. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll kind of get the sense of, you know, like when, like with Mount Shasta, Mount Shasta was asking for snow. So, you know, we were working on kind of work our earth magic and like working on bringing snow on top of Mount Shasta. And that was, that was uh, after those big fires and everything and, you know, the smoke and everything was out. And then, you know, when, when we arrived there to do our event, we brought rain with us like that, that I think we arrived on Thursday and then that Friday rain showed up and then it's like this wind came and like everything just like cleared out. And then it started, it actually snowed while we were there. So, <laughs> so that's like, that's really cool when you get like those synchronistic, synchronistic confirmations of the work that you're doing because they're like, it's been so dry and there's been no liquid and it hasn't been cold enough. The temperature dropped like 10 degrees when we got there. It was, yeah, it was pretty incredible to like be a part of that and to like be in the energy and then, and then working your energy at the same time. So yeah. Yeah. And Joan and Susan were, of course, there helping with that too. <laughs> so you went we're like our... during the, that whole fire outbreak. Yeah. You went there right after, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. We were there in September. We were there um, at the end of sept September, like in like 20th, 21st, 17th. I don't know. Somewhere between the 17th and the 21st. I don't have the dates exactly in front of me. But There's still fires going on while you're there. there. They there were still fires going on. And as a matter of fact, people were worried that we were going to cancel our event because, you know, there were multiple fires in different locations. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm still attached to the Siskiyou Facebook page where they talk about, you know, where the current fires are at and where they're burning in that. But, um, but any of the fires that were happening were, you know, further, um, further West and a little further South than where we were at. So we weren't, we weren't affected by them. And it was also during COVID. And so, you know, nobody wore masks. Nobody got sick. It was, we were just on our own little timeline. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. That's it, COVID. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, hopefully YouTube you know, will pick that up and we get taken offline. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. No, you won't be taken offline now because I think everyone knows it was not very good yeah i feel like it's like past stuff and maybe in context so mm. otherwise you'll just have to bleep that out <laughs> yeah, how, what, what an amazing synchronization that there's this censorship that goes on during this whole covid that like was intense and then all of a sudden magically the censorship has eased off <laughs> uh -huh. oh oh you just hey. up when you everybody was catching you in a bold face line <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I think they were trying to get some figures on some job figures. As soon as they got that, then they were yeah, we just talking about things. rain. It just started raining outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know it's supposed to rain today. There you go. <laughs> Apparently, me, I'm just using like the energy that we still have, and I'm like talking about rain and ta da. <laughs> But I was I was thinking about it earlier today because I was like, well, I don't want to water my plants. I hope it rains again so that I can just stick my planters out in the rain. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what I have noticed. It's harder to manipulate the weather because because America manipulate the weather. It's like it's not it's not the rain spirits that are creating the rain. It's manipulation that's creating it. It's so difficult, more difficult now than when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can manipulate rain at will but now it's a lot more it's getting more difficult yeah well i i know that we had our intention like when we were in actually both in scotland and ireland it was supposed to rain that whole week and uh it didn't yeah, hold on. 
Yeah, hold on. I was coming to Scotland, so I it's not going to rain when I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, no, we no. I promise you, we all had that we all had set that intention that it was like it is not gonna rain while we're here. <laughs> Yeah, um, and then the little, is getting the little a confidence booster for manifesting rain his whole life, but like in England, it rains sixty percent of the time. So he just thinks he's like manifesting all of this. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know there was a it was, it was a sound healing in the park, and they cancelled it. And they said why? And said it's ninety five percent rain chance. I said it won't rain, so we went there anyway, and. 10 minutes before the start of the time, the sun came out for an hour and then it would have finished. It went, started raining again. It actually had a break <laughs> for an hour. No. And he looked at me and, how do you do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really fun. Um, so the only time we did get quote unquote rain was while we were on our flight from Scotland to Ireland, apparently it rained. Um, but we were on flight, so, but it was kind of like misty, sprinkly outside. So we didn't really like have raincoats or umbrellas or anything like that. And then, um, and then once we arrived, it was like gorgeous weather, sunshiny the whole time. And then our last day in Dublin, when we were at Dublin Castle, um, that's when, that's when it finally started to rain. And it was like, I was like, Yay, because I was like, look it, I drove a raincoat and an umbrella, and if I don't get to use that thing once, I'm gonna be a little bit mad. So it wasn't it wasn't hard rain, but uh but yeah, I I, I did get to put my raincoat um, on. If you're in Dublin and it's raining, I think well Laura is supposed to be in a pub. We I you know, that's where we went next. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should mention that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was a great trip. I'd I'd be happy to go back there again and do more. Maybe even like see like Southern Ireland this time versus Northern. And you know, we were kind of Northern and then you know, kind of Northern Southern Ireland. You know, um, but then I think you know everybody talks about oh the Kerry Circle. I think that would be cool to check out and you know the Cork area and you know that's that Southern coast. Well, uh, I I took my wife to uh, Cork. Uh, as an holiday, but then we were in a cemetery, and she said, "Why are we going in the cemetery?" She said, "My family are from Cork, and I just and we we actually saw a rabbit come out of a out of a out of a burrow? cemetery. No, out of a cemetery thing. But there's no hole there. It just came out. It was a, some spirit. It was a, oh wow! It was a rabbit spirit. It was very That's weird. cool. But I, th I well, think it was more like a spirit animal. I saw my first like, spirit spirit. I was sitting in my in my family room just watching TV and I don't know if it was commercial or whatever and then I was just kind of like looking outside because I feel like it was like maybe around you know where like it was like the moon was out you know and so like you could see outside and so I was kind of like looking out my patio door and looking out all of a sudden this guy starts walking past just walking past me and and I'm sitting there on my couch with my legs you know kind of stretched out on the recliner and I'm like huh Who's that guy? What's he doing in my house? But he really, he looked holographic, like just like a, like a see-through bean. And I just remember looking at him and, and he, he had white skin, curly hair. He's wearing like a collared shirt, like a business suit, you know, not the suit, but the, just the shirt, a belt, beige pants. I mean, I, I could see these details. Like it was like colored enough that I could see the details, but at the same time, it's almost like, um, like when you watch those those shows where it's like, oh, and then they saw a ghost and then they like show a shadow, like a see-through shadow of somebody who's, you know, like a transparent person. That really is how it looked, like this transparent person. And and as he's walking across, I'm thinking, should I say hello? But then I was just so like, <laughs> I I was just so like, I don't want to say infatuated. I was just like so amazed by seeing it. I just kind of was like, I just kind of watched him walk through between my coffee table and my patio door, walking like he's heading toward, you know, for the powder room. And then, and then he just blinked away just like that. So it probably only lasted 10, 15 seconds, like the whole, you know, the whole watching him walk. But I was just like, okay, that was all really your cool. light and thought, oh, there's my heavenly portal. I'm going to take a lift up over here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah. Do, do you know like, the best yeah the best one i've ever seen it was at me works and out through the wall was a knight on an horse and it started oh, walking yeah. and it, 
the night, the, the silver was so reflective and it walked right down to the end. And I said to the lad next to me, I said, did you see that? He said, what, the night I'm yours? He said, yeah. So he saw it and then he saw this older bloke said, you saw it as well? I thought I've seen things. But we were talking about it, describing it, how detailed it was, not bothered. And I think he was thinking, why aren't they frightened? <laughs> we were just talking about it. But he does. He he, he used to do paranormal events, so we, but we were just talking about it. But it was amazing. So I checked the land, and it was an old Cromwell battle ground. So you oh. know Cromwell, uh, Cromwell and the right. government. I'm familiar. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was an old battleground. Uh, just saying, David, that the where the night was on the north, because I saw it. The, uh, another lad saw it, and the old man said. He couldn't believe it. We'd seen it, but we were we were friends talking about it. Though it's nothing. It was an old Cromwell battleground where the unit was. So a lot of people died underneath that. So we were seeing a night and a horse, I suppose. Yeah, so, amazing I feel like, to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like when we were doing, um, you know, kind of land clearing, land healing, a lot of it had to do with like these old battlegrounds. I mean, there's castles everywhere, right? All that means all there was was fighting, fighting, fighting. <laughs> so well, they, and, a, a lot of our like, yeah a lot of our history is hidden a lot of our history is well hidden there's a lot of much for it. we we've got three cities around us altering and manchester and stockport and they've got cities under cities there's been yeah. a flood 300 years ago mm -hmm. and it's all hidden so a lot of clearing there yeah need, needed yeah, so. yeah that's <sighs> uh <laughs> Oh my God, we could talk for hours. I, I've been told, <laughs> I've been told dragons, 3D dragons were here three to 400 years ago. Yeah. Unicorns were here on our out realm. They've all been deleted on our realm. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're in 4D now, but it shows you what our, our history is. 40. Well, I, I, when we were doing um, one of the channeling elemental series and we were doing channeling unicorns, um, I was working with a lot of unicorn energy. And during a meditation, I saw my, my crystalline unicorn and her name is Althea. And she came in, really looks just like a beautiful white horse with a horn. <laughs> Just, you know, just like you would imagine them being drawn and seen, only she was so sparkly and shiny. It almost looked like she was like, like blinking. You know what I mean? Like, that's like how shiny she was. And I, I just saw her face and I saw this, like this silver coming out of her horn from her, like her healing energy. And I was like, I just was like, again, I didn't know what to say. I just like watched it and was like, wow. <laughs> What, that was, what, what was the name? What was the name, sorry? Althea. Althea. Yeah, A L T H E A, Althea. My yeah. granddaughter's called Althea. It's not, it's not far off. It's a Bible name, isn't it? Get the woman I, in the Bible is Althea. Oh, I don't know. All I know is I was um, shopping for crystals one day and I found this gorgeous unicorn crystal. And I was like, ooh, I, like, I was like, ooh, I want to get that. Like, I was like, ooh, love it. And it's, you know, clear quartz, um, but it wasn't completely clear. You know, it's got its occlusions or whatever in it. But I, anyway, I loved it. And um, and so I was like, oh, my God, I just love this. beautiful. And so I was like sitting, like holding it and like working with the vibration of it. And then all of a sudden I just heard Althea and I was like, oh, Althea. OK, like this particular crystal wants to be known as Althea is kind of like the sense I got. But then after I got <laughs> after I had that meditation, which, you know, was sometime months afterwards, you know, after I had that meditation and I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this crystal doesn't even nearly, like it just is not nearly as like, even with the sun shining on it and catching all the faucets that it could, just not nearly what it looks like in in the reality of the, the etheric, you know, the etheric realm or within your art field or your aspect or however you see oneself. Um, but yeah, that was, yeah, that was one of my favorite... Uh I, I was healing a, a woman last week and her a, a aspect was trying to merge with it. It was a unicorn, unicorn aspect. That's amazing. That was, uh, and it was trying to kill her? <laughs> no, it was trying to connect kill? with her. 
connect with her connect yeah, enough, oh. but... i was like why would her unicorn try to kill her <laughs> probably said hill and i just misunderstood it <laughs> yeah it's my language my accent so yeah yeah <sighs> yeah it's very uh it's very interesting yeah, i've always liked the unicorns yeah i did a i did a tarot reading the other day for a friend and um Oh my gosh, it was like so spot on. And and normally I'll just like pull cards, you know, for myself or like for a friend here and there. But this reading was like so incredibly like just spot on. And I was like, I mean, I know my team works with me when I work with the cards, but I'm like, I think I need to work with them more. Like the the Do you know, Wendy, when you mentioned that on Tuesday, I was healing someone and I said. You've got a fairy aspect that's trying to connect instantly. It comes so visibly, uh, remote viewing quickly. Yeah. And then the next person, I said, you're an angelic. I said, you've got pain where your wings are. She said, I've got pain there. I said, I've cleared it. But it's more quicker now. Everything's instant. Yeah. Uh, before, yeah. You, you, before you're trying to look for it, now it's just there. Yeah. yeah well that that kind of reminds me too like um like the arcturians like when we were in mount shasta this this past um this past year again in the fall um when we had when we had gone and we were climbing up the mountain we've been to many places we've done some healing work we've done some water healing and you know just uh just you know kind of divine feminine you know drum circles and that kind of thing so but anyway we ended up climbing Mount Shasta and fortunately there was no snow on the mountain so we were able to like get up quite a ways and um I would say maybe midpoint I I know it'll take like maybe three hours to go up and we were probably an hour and a half up you know climbing up and you know the big rocks and so we were like working with the rocks they wanted you know they wanted some healing so we were kind of reaching out and working with the rocks and um and then anyway so we got up we got up to this point and I was like you know, like, like, let's sit and do a meditation. So Joan and I were there. And then another woman that was in our group, but she was a little kind of off from us. And so we're like, yeah, we're going to do a meditation. And so, so we ended up bringing out our hape and, and we're like, and then we, you know, we, she did her meditation and I did mine. So it was individual. So, and I, I have recognized that like with eyes open that I can see like, like the matrix sparkles, like, so you can see, it looks like little silver dots, you know? And my fingers don't do it justice. <laughs> but if you can think the, about like... Is that the energy that's creating everything? If you if I scry and go in, I can see the energy around yeah. the room. And you can actually manipulate it sometimes with your hands. Yeah. So, so yeah. sometimes it'll go from... Like when I first started noticing I could see it, I was just like laying on the grass, looking at the sky. And I was like, oh, what is that? Like, what am I looking at? But um, I know that was a... That was after I had seen it a couple of times, like walking through the snow. And I thought I was just seeing sparkle reflection off the snow. I didn't realize I was like looking at that. So then, so then, um, so anyway, so we're up on the mountain and, and I'm like kind of looking out and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'll like look for, like look for the sparkles, right? In the sky, cause it looks really pretty to see. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of just sitting there and I'm like, no, I'm going to close my eyes and meditate. So then I did. So I, I'm kind of on a rock with my legs hanging over the edge of this rock, you know, like this. And I'm I'm just kind of looking up and and closing my eyes and my legs are hanging over and I don't know I think my phone and stuff are on the ground and I'm I'm kind of like wanting to see something in my third eye and I'm kind of thinking 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 I'm like all right I'm not really seeing anything I'm like well I might as well just like enjoy the view and like check out the sky it's such a pretty blue today and so I'll just like I'll look for the sparkles in the sky so so I'm I'm laying there and then it's probably about ten minutes in right and so then I'm I just kind of open my eyes and I'm like looking around for the sparkles and then all of a sudden this big Arcturian face is in the clouds, like a, like a, like a, it's almost like as if he had a projector and was projecting his image on the clouds or he's really that big. And like earth is really like, like when they sing the song, he's got the whole world in his hands. It's probably like that maybe, you know? So anyway, so, you know, I would, I would liken it to like a huge, you know, like a straddle cumulus cloud, like that size, but his face was just like how you draw like, like how you see people draw them where it's like wider at the top and like triangular, more narrow, you know, at the bottom, but he didn't have any mouth, 
no nose that was notable, but I could like see these, you know, kind of these broad eyes, but they weren't like dark eyes. He was just all like one shiny color. But then as I was looking at him, I was thinking, wow, that's really cool. But then behind him, I could see like these donuts, I would say like bagels, but they were like these white bagels. And there were like four or five of them behind him. And they were like moving forward and back like this, like forward and back. But you could like see the sky behind them, but you could see like this energy of, of, of the bagel. But it was so bright and crystalline that it's really like, if you like look at like, you know, some of the pictures that they take of diamonds and you see the faucet, like how it looks like, like rainbow colors, but mostly white, but rainbow, like you can see the pinks and the blues and that, like that's how these colors were for the Arcturian's face. And for these donuts going back and forth, like that's, that picture that's what stand out. No, my phone was on the ground and I was, <laughs> you know, laying you know well, Matt, that would have been a video on YouTube within God, 20 right? minutes. <laughs> Subscribers. Yeah. And the crazy thing, the crazy thing is I am tw like almost 24 seven to have my phone. And I'm like the person going, oh, that looks really cool. Click, click, click. Like I always am taking pictures in in that moment, I can't tell you how much I've kind of like, not really beat myself up about it, but it was like, ah, could I have seen that? Would I have been able to capture it with the, with my camera? I don't know. But, and it lasted, it lasted it at would, least five It would minutes. be nice to have tried. <laughs> right, right? I just, I, I wasn't even like, oh, where's my phone? I just, I, I'm kind of like, all right, next time I'm going to be ready. <laughs> I think, I think I showed David uh, the, uh, I was taking pictures of cloud dragons and I, I actually got a portal with a, a ship coming out of it. Three picks, oh, wow. three clicks. And I didn't even know what it was doing it, but I, I, enli huh. I think I've shown you that. I enlarged it and yeah. Yeah, no, I don't, think I don't think I've seen that. But that's funny yeah. that you mentioned that because a couple summers, I don't think it was last summer. I think it was two summers ago, but I had posted a video. I think I posted it on Divine Ray of the clouds and the dragons like there were dragons everywhere in the clouds and I was like oh my god and there's one and there's one and there's one and there's one like they were everywhere and um and and I created a video for it and I was you know laughing and you know the energy was like really amazing that day and the sun was beautiful but there were clouds obviously all, all the way in the sky um but the dragons were using you know the clouds to like show themselves in the clouds is is how they tell me what they do is they kind of like they take that they take that liquid energy and they like wrap themselves in it so that sometimes you'll see their faces and sometimes you can see their bodies and wings and so you know it's um actually i've seen that like um not just with myself but lots of people uh pictures of clouds with their dragons kenton to reaching out saying hey look up we're here right yeah and, and the other thing i don't know if you guys have seen this in the clouds but i've i've seen this i don't know several times i maybe not as many as 10 times, but several times where you're kind of like just looking at the cloud and you're like, God, there's something like different about that. And then all of a sudden it's almost like, it's almost like, you know, in Groundhog Day when he like does that ice sculpture and like how her, like when it shows the picture of her on the ice sculpture, that's, that looks like smooth and silky, like that's like that kind of creamy white. Sometimes I'll see that in the clouds and it'll be like, a man's face or a woman's face sometimes i'll see a family sometimes like the last time i saw one um was uh like almost like a cherub like it was a little baby face and i was like i was like oh my gosh and it stayed there it stayed there maybe a minute and then and then the clouds just drifted off and i was like to see i was like does anybody else like see that face and like how clear it is because it's so refined it's not like it's not like when you like as a kid you look at a cloud and you go um that kind of looks like a bunny oh look that one kind of looks like a dog you know where it's like like you kind of are putting your mind together to like find the image that's within the clouds versus the image is in the clouds so you know not like oh i'm trying to connect the dots and make something i'm looking at it and there it is so but that was that's I think that's really interesting. I feel like there's definitely like cloud people. <laughs> well, I've seen like like little UFOs and these huge clouds moving around. Do, do, around. David, do you want to see me video? I've I've, I've got my YouTube up. Yeah, sure. With, with a spaceship. 
Oh yeah. And the dragon. And Here, the dragon. I'll give you a, a co-host so you can like share a screen. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh god, that's all just so you know, in 26 minutes, I got I got some food coming. That's why I was looking at my phone. Yeah. That's the dot. That's the dot, and that's the dragon. See the dragon. That's the dot. So I was I was taking pictures of that. Three pictures at once. See the change. And now I enlarge it. Oh yeah! Wow. That that. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? To actually take that. You want to see it again, or do you see it? I saw it. That it? was very cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like a, like that? a wormhole. Just yeah, and it something came out. But I was taking pictures of it. I took three pictures. I was driving the car, so I've had to pretend that my son took the pictures. <laughs> actually, <laughs> so I have to blank that part out. <laughs> And uh, I saw the the white dot, and I thought that's not a star. What do you think there's going to be like a like a ticket uh, cop <laughs> from from England is going to track you down and give you like a? <laughs> you like never a, know in England. <laughs> you know what you're going to see? You're going to find you're going to find Phil walking around with a tin foil hat. <laughs> it's good to have tin foil hats in the last three years, to be honest. Yeah, it's but but the activity has definitely it's definitely improved. This will give you a lot of headache. This is at two hours and seven minutes in, so you can skip to that part, edit this out, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I think I think this video has got three videos in this. Yeah, probably <laughs> you could break it up if you have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get yeah. me subscribers. There you go. I, I've got five, five, five at the moment. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Well, yeah, that's quite a bit more. Yeah, I haven't really doing as much work um, doing the healing videos as much. We've kind of like shifted and focused into the channeling more than the videos. But, you know, the Wendy Napolitano quantum healer, that is still out there. And I don't think I'm either just close to 200 or I'm under. I don't know. That could be the other channel. But then also channeled illuminations, you know, with where we're sharing all of our channeling right. and light language and, you know, all of that stuff. And uh, it's interesting. This morning I was thinking, you know, I think I need to like focus on like doing my healing work again and start like sharing videos. And then all of a sudden somebody reached out to me and they're like, hey, like I want to like, let's work together again. And and I was like, oh, OK, but I don't really advertise it. That's that's kind of my Wendy. bad. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. A, a person channeled sort of the galactic symbols. I've shown it, David. And I was wondering, should I share a screen with that and tell, let me know what you pick up on it? What do you think? Um, yeah, that'd he's be great. A channel, he's a channel eight years it took. You remember this, Dave? Oh, no. oh I remember that. Image. I saw it. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, because you shared it on uh, Global as well. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. What do you pick out of it? What do you pick out of that? That's Andromeda now, that one there. You know, those those discs. Yeah. Each one represents Okay, so okay, so wait, see that one that that's like a wheel circles in circles? It's almost like that's what I was standing on. The one just the blue one and then just to the left of it where it's like brown and orange and it's kind of underneath it. Yeah, that one. Up, up higher. The one in the okay, far left corner, and then just to the right. So not that one, the big ones, and then there, right there. See, there's that like one. two that it's like it looks like records on top of each other. There's the big one, and then there's the one just under it. So just go up. So that one kind of looks like flowers to me, but go up where it just looks like concentric circles. That one. Yeah. So the one just inside to the right. Now go to the right. Yeah. That one. That reminds well, that, me of what I was standing on. Yeah, that one there reminds me of a geometer. That one. I wonder. I wonder if that reminds. If that's one of your star seed uh, connections. Yeah, but I literally I was 
and it's almost like there was a I don't know what she's got drawn in the center, but it's almost like there was a like a pillar in the center of it. Like um I know what you mean. Like Roman architecture, it. right? Like a like a yeah. pillar. There, there, that part there. That's like a, a pillar. Is it? No, is it? it? Is. No, yeah, no, I'm, I I when I saw I, it, yeah. So so when I was standing on what reminds me of that image. Mm. Oh, I had to like put that together. But when I was standing there, there were other people there with me. But I remember standing on it kind of reminded me of like like cement and like white. Like it was, it didn't have all those colors, but like how it was drawn in reminds me of how that circle looked. So do, do you like my crystal skull? This crystal skull is having a visit. Oh, <laughs> you know look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, each each all these are uh, like constellations. That's got got the one. And when I was watching it, I looked what was below, and it was Andromeda. So I was uh, actually sat on the Andromeda constellation. Oh wow! Yeah. So so maybe that's maybe that's like how when we're in astral, how we're working with these energies as they're yeah. laid out into a flat, like a two dimensional plane. Yeah. And we can just like overview it, just like walking across it and overviewing it and going, okay, this, 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 do this, do that. Like, because how many times are like, do we know that when we're working with source that like between the angelics and the dragons and the galactics, like, like we're all like his creations, but we all have like jobs to do for these different universes that are created, right? These different when galaxies. I, when I connected with our in meditation at the place, a Lemurian temple that was built around me, 40 foot high. Big massive crystal came out, 40 foot, it was like a yellow golden crystal. And then another one, and then it all connected, and it was a, a Lemurian temple. And it was oh. amazing. I felt so high out there. Wow. That was the same day I went for the mushrooms that night. And the bloke who was, who was doing it, he says, God, what, what's happened to you? you? You've got so much energy coming out of you. It's because I got blessed in the temple. Oh yeah. wow! Uh, I that didn't expect cool. that. that was, I remember that this was... one time. I was um, I don't know. I they, I feel like I travel a lot, like using transportation that we're familiar with. So I'm like waiting for an elevator, and I'm going up, and I'm going like up, 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 up to the tippy top. But the elevator is like outside of the building, so you can see out while you're going up. Is it like one vision? And yeah, I know, right? Long vision. You go to the right, to the left, towards the middle, right. No, I was just going up. But as I was going up, what I remember looking at, the scenery that was in front of me was, it was almost like a horizontal, like like a river and a mountain and then and then cityscape, but like cityscape and then like, like landscape. And then off in the distance was, I mean, it reminded me of what you would think of like, like, from you know the wizard of oz the the golden the emerald city like this building literally was green and it had it was almost like um like if you take a crystal and it's like fosseted where it's like cut like with different angles like this and then the next one's like this so it's like it so it like had these like different faucet angles on it and um and then just windows 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 all the way up but the green was like glowing <laughs> like this emerald maybe it was your <laughs> maybe it was your temple <laughs> the healing temple but it was literally magnificent and huge and tall and i thought i'm gonna get to the top and this building out in front of me is still like towers above where i'm at in the top of like the building that i was riding this elevator in so and yeah i just remember going I want to get a picture in front of that. <laughs> so even in my, you know, my astral travel or dream time, I'm still like, where's my camera? Like, I need to, I need to capture a picture of this. <laughs> yeah. I wish I would have taken so many more pictures. I've had so many things I could have caught on camera. And I literally, like, when these huge things happen, and I was just like, what do I do? <laughs> I just look at it, and I'm just, just like, right. In space. Well, that's like, you know, like, that's like, I keep a dream journal and I keep a notebook, but do you think the day the guy showed up in my 
in my house walking in front of me do you think that i would have written yeah, that automatic one? picture that's I, an automatic no. picture right no and didn't, we're all dumbfounded did not, and we're just like <laughs> did not document it but i do think I may have been, I may have asked the question about like, who was this being um, it, like that following week on Hukalo. So it might be like tracked out there and I'm kind of like, okay, well, like maybe if I go back like the last four episodes, but that takes so much time to go back and like relive what you already lived. So I'm kind of like, eh. <laughs> right here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So All right, but I'm cool memory, signature. Cool memory. Time you got there, Phil. One uh, time to wrap, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not not bad time yet. It's not it's not two thirty yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was about when I went upstairs last night, two thirty. So yeah, I tend to keep. I feel like those late odd hours too. <laughs> well, but my time zone. <laughs> amazing work, guys. It was great catching up, but. Uh, I yeah. that's going to be coming here so i'm probably going to be clocking out and sounds I'm good there. well thank you all yeah, of our devices. i'm going i'm going to bed i'll think of you too while i'm in bed all right <laughs> okay <laughs> well, just don't, don't tell us what you do world. after you think of us. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah see you guys we'll see you in the <laughs> astral world all right much bye, love guys. Bye. bye bye everyone